Las Vegas pit bosses are keeping a, keeping a close eye on actor Ben Affleck. He was reportedly caught card counting during a game of blackjack. CBS 2's Bobby Cable is live in Northridge with details. Bobby. Well, Pat, Radar Online says that there is an APB out for Ben Affleck from Vegas casinos, several of them banding together when it comes to counting cards. Tonight, we are here at Cal State Northridge, where I interviewed a former pro gambler who was kicked off many of those same blackjack tables in Vegas. Ben Affleck is one of Hollywood's biggest stars. But for Ben, what happens in Vegas doesn't necessarily stay in Vegas, at least not this time. So Ben Affleck was actually caught cheating in two Vegas casinos. Tonight, Radar Online is reporting that the Batman star was barred from playing blackjack at the Hard Rock Casino in Vegas after he was busted counting cards. Alexis Terezchuk is a reporter at Radar Online. He was told that he had to stop playing immediately. It's not illegal, but it is very much frowned upon. According to the website, Affleck was using his chip stack to keep track of the count and moving his bets accordingly. And so he's uh, trying to extract the maximum amount of money possible from the casino as quickly as possible. Chris McKinley has been banned from several Vegas blackjack tables because he too used to count cards as a pro gambler. Here he explains how it works. So he might put a chip aside to remind himself that the count was now negative one, you know. Uh, and uh, ace is another negative one, so maybe now it's negative two. In response to the story, late tonight, the Hard Rock Casino released this statement, quote, Mr. Affleck, a valued guest of the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, is not banned from our property and is welcome back anytime. Now, Radar says that the other casino that allegedly busted Ben for counting cards was the Win Properties. They say he can still gamble there, however. Now, you notice in that statement they mentioned that Ben had not been banned from the casino. They didn't say anything about not being able to play blackjack there. We're live tonight in Northridge, Bobby Capel, CBS 2 News. Interesting point. Thanks for that, Bobby.